when I retired from the center, I went to law school, became a lawyer. My neighbor came over one day and said, um, I have a friend of mine who had, uh, I think there was 54 uh, lions, uh, panthers, cougars, uh, tigers in 1.7 acres on his girlfriend's property, which is a lot of animals in one small property. And he had started a 501c3, a nonprofit, put his girlfriend on, then her friend, another friend, another friend. Then he got in a fight with his girlfriend. She kicked him off the property, held a board meeting, and kicked him out of his corporation. So my neighbor was friends with him, came over and said, how does he get his animals back? So I had to file a lawsuit in Florida. It's called Replevin, which is recovery of property. And we went to court. And it was about two years, and we won. So we got, um, we got some of these animals. We didn't have any place to put them. So my neighbor and I sectioned off part of our backyard because I had acreage and he had acreage and, and we were kind of out in the country and we brought these animals there and we had, um, we had quite a few animals. We had, uh, let me see if I can find one. Uh, we had two sisters. Um, this is Lily and Agra. And then we had, uh, my favorite was, was Natasha. And Natasha, I could actually go in and lay down with her and, and, you know, and pet her. And uh, we had her for about, we had them there for 14 years. And uh, we, had, we had a lion. And, and unfortunately, my neighbor had a heart attack and his wife had a stroke, so we had to move them. So um, the lion, and then the day we moved them, my favorite was a little guy named Ralph. He was a Bengal tiger. He was a little guy. And that's, that's me saying goodbye to him. We had to dart him. And um, we moved them all into a place uh, here in Florida called Forever Florida. So you know where that is? He's nodding his head. Yep. So they're next, next door to there, and they're all very happy and well.